All right. Hey, everyone. Um, so today I'm just going to do a quick little overview about how to use this website slash like 3D sculpting software called SculptFab. In order to get to this website, you're just going to want to type in SculptFab into Google and it'll be the first result that pops up for you there. Okay, so when you do open it up, you'll be greeted with something like this. And this is one of those websites where you can create something right here, right, right in your web browser, but as soon as you exit out of it, it won't save it. So make sure that you save your work once you get to a point where you don't want to lose it. All right, so here we are in Gather Town on Sculpt Fab, and you've got your little ball of ball of clay. And there are a few tools that I just want to introduce you to. So this is the automatic brush tool. So you've got brush and it'll just like raise the clay like that. So you're adding clay to it. If you want to take away, then you click negative and you can take away that clay and make it into like a hole. Uh, so we've also got something called inflate. Oh, and since we've still got negative, it's going, um, in and in order to go back you it's slightly off uh, the screen recording but you just go to history and then you go undo so I'll do this as well um, so in order to inflate it just does that and it literally inflates the clay uh, rotate is like pinching and rotating it pretty cool Smooth is, it smooths down the clay. Pretty self-explanatory there. <laughs> uh, flatten, if you want to flatten a certain part of it. Pinch, makes it pointy like you're pinching it. Crease, adds a crease. And if you want that crease to go inward, then you just click negative. And drag, drags it up. Paint, this is, uh, you can you can color your work. Uh, so let's do a little, little purple. Yeah, so you just paint it. Um, scale, make something a little bigger, a little smaller. And then, oh, yeah, see, this is what we made with the um, dragging. And I'm honestly not too sure how to use cuts. If you have any clue, let me know. But let's just reset our sphere like so. And I'll show you some, some cool tricks. So, Let's just say today we're going to make a bird. Uh, we're going to use our brush tool. I'm going to do negative. And something that I'm going to do is use the symmetry option, which makes it super easy if you want to do either like a human or if you want to do like an animal of some sort. Uh, then it just makes it a lot easier to get the features um, the same on each side, a lot less frustrating. So I recommend using that. And you can see this is how big our brush is. So if you want to make it smaller, then you just adjust the radius here. Uh, but for now, I'll keep it this size. And yeah, let's go. So you see, the longer you stay on a certain area, the more it goes in. And if you want to, you, to look all the way around your uh, sculpture, and you can just click and drag your mouse and it'll kind of change perspective for you. I find it a lot easier if I go to um, camera spherical. It just makes it a lot easier to control. Okay, so we've got our bird eye sockets. Um, and now what I'm going to go is 
do is I'm going to smooth out the edges. See, so that makes it just like super soft around the edges, which is really nice. It's a lot less harsh. And now we are going to go ahead and use our brush tool. Oh, see, uh, gonna go history, undo. I'm going to unclick the negative so that we are adding stuff. And I'm going to make my brush just a little bit smaller. And okay, so let's, Let's make our bird beak. Yep, see, it's a little bit shallow. So I'm going to turn it a little bit and do pinch. So that just like pinches the edge. So let's Maybe drag, yeah. So we're gonna drag it out. Give a little, little pointy beak there. Very cute. Okay, and you can't rotate while you're in the, the drag option. So we've got a cute little, little beak. So I'm also going to go ahead and smooth it around the edges here and you can zoom in if you want. And you don't have to worry about missing another side because as long as you do it on one side, since we have our symmetry turned on, then it'll actually also do it on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to brush and then do negative again and make my radius a lot smaller because I want to add a little smile to our bird. There we go. And I think birds have little nostrils, so I'll also <laughs> I'll also do that. Look how cute they are. They're already looking great. Um, and I'm going to stay this up close and I will so now let's give let's give our bird some eyes. So we're gonna go to brush, or we could actually go to inflate actually. Uh, so let's unclick the negative, and we will make our radius a lot bigger. And we'll just do this. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! See, it made a little bit. The eyes are a little freaky here, so let's go to the brush and we'll make our brush smaller and just add see I already I don't really like that so we're just going to undo the inflate <laughs> and instead I'm just going to use my um, brush tool so starting like that and we're just going to keep on adding. There we go. I think that that looks great. And so now I'm going to use our smooth tool. Make sure it's nice and smooth. I think that's perfect. Adorable. Oh, that was a little, <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> okay, so, so far we've got our bird here. Maybe we should add some some feathers. I think that the drag option might be a cool yeah so we'll drag out a little bit like that and then we're going to use the flatten tool and Flatten them out so that they look more like feathers. We lost one of the... And then we're going to flatten. Very cute. 
I'm just going to keep doing that until I feel like I have enough. They look a little bit like scales, uh, but if we zoom in, maybe we could add some some little marks. So we've got negative, we're gonna make it really small. So we wanna just add a little bit of feather marks. Yeah, and you sort of get the the general idea here. It's a lot like using regular clay, it's just much less mess and I find it a little bit more fun even because now you can export it as a 3D object, which is very, very neat. You can do that by publishing it to Sketchfab, so let's say bird ball, since it's kind of like a bird ball. I'll go publish model and then you have to log in and everything. Um, but I can do a follow up tutorial on how to publish your 3D model if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun doing this. It's always so much fun to just make things. It cut me off there. But if you do want to paint your uh, sculpture, I accidentally exited out of the tab and so I lost I lost the bird that we made together, but that's okay. It's fun to just start over sometimes. Uh, but make sure that you take a screenshot of your work if you just want to look at it uh, later. Uh, but anyway, so if you wanted to paint your bird, then you can go ahead and go to the paint tool and then change your color. I'm going to choose red. So then you just go all the way around and paint your bird. Oh, a nice bright red. And then if we wanted to paint the beak, like this color, uh, make sure you change your radius. And then, oh, it would also be a good idea once you get to that point uh, to undo the symmetry so that you're just painting in one spot. So let's say these are the, that's the beak. And then if you want to do like black eyes or whatever color of eyes. Oh, it's, it's a little spooky. And then you can add like a cool, cute little white highlight on the side so that it looks like it's got little, little shining eyes. So it actually was pretty easy to publish your 3D model to Sketchfab. You just have to go to um, publish to Sketchfab and then you'll be prompted to create an account. If you're comfortable with doing that, you can go right ahead uh, and then it'll just say your model has been published to sketchfab.com. And then you just click see your model on Sketchfab. And then you'll be able to see your beautiful creation forever. And we love that. So I definitely recommend having some fun with this. Create your beautiful sculpture and if you feel comfortable you can even publish it and share it with other people. Especially us. Definitely share it with us. Okay. Have a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Uh, thank you for coming and watching this. And in the future if you would like to create your sculpture, you can go to the, actually, I'll show you it. I'll show you it right now. Um, so let's, oh. actually, no, you saw that when you, when you came in, you actually just uh, approach 
the statue in the tutorial lab and then you'll be able to just click X and make your own sculpture. So that'll always be there for you. Okay, I'll see you later.